How's it going Top Forest TV? My name is Jack and welcome to my review of our new signing, I'm going to say Fawad Beriashu. I probably absolutely butchered that and uh, I think most Forest fans will until we get to, to know him a bit better. But yeah, decent signing by what I can see. A lot of Malmo fans were sad that he'd been going and you know I've seen a few Forest fans on Twitter saying sort of you know asking the uh, Malmo fans what they think of him and they said you know I've seen someone say he's a bit like Kante hard working someone said he's quite a technical player so you know it'd be quite an interesting one to see what he can bring to the team I'm pretty sure he'll be a sort of a Samba Sour replacement if you will so I mean he had a fantastic season up until the restart and then after the restart it was a bit it's a bit shaky really he had a lot of injuries um you know he had he had popper on knees really so hopefully if um this new guy can come in. He can be a he can be a similar player, the same sort of influence on the side. Maybe offer something a bit a little bit different as well. A little bit more going forward, a little bit more on the ball. Um, which is you know, probably with Watson coming out of the side, that calmness on the ball is something we've lost. Um, so hopefully he can bring that, bring that calmness on the ball. You know, bring the ball forward. Hopefully can um, get us out of some tight situations with his ability on the ball, which I did see a Malmo fan on Twitter saying he's able to do. So that's quite positive. Um, you know, so with him and Cole back now coming into a place, so and Watson, I think they're pretty like for like changes, really. I mean, you look at Cole back, he comes in, he's defensive, hard working, a bit like Sao. Um, and then you look at this new guy coming in, and for what I can hear, he's quite technical, he can get on the ball. So, you know, he, he does the Watson role. So I think it's, um, yeah, it's really good. Um, from what I can hear of it, we'll have to wait and see what he does on the pitch. You know, I've been definitely um, sort of guilty in the past of being like, "Oh, yeah, we've got this absolutely incredible player at Forest." You know, "Oh, look at this bloke. He's come in and he's he's meant to be, you know, the the bee's knees, the next insert player here, um, or he's a a B Tech version of this player, but he's still going to be fantastic for our level." And they've turned out to be poor, like. People, you know, when when we got Vladimir Stoichkovic, oh, he was meant to be the next Buffon, for example. You know, I, I I like to sort of hype up transfers a bit for us and hope that they do maybe a little bit better than they actually are meant to be doing. But you know, we'll have to wait and see what he does on the pitch, uh, see what sort of performances he can bring, what he can offer to the side. Be interested to see, you know, whether he'll be that Watson replacement or that Sal replacement, or maybe a mixture of both. That'd be fantastic if he can, or maybe he's for the bench. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the transfer window on a whole has been really positive from the club. You know, we've brought in Blackett, we've brought in um, Taylor, Colback all on a free. I'm not 100% sure actually if this new guy was on a free or whether we paid a fee for him. But um, yeah, I think it's still shrewd business. He is 30 years old, so you know that would indicate to you that he might be getting on a bit. But you've got to remember there are players... Look at Watson, you know, he's he was dictating the possession and getting stuck in um, older than that during the lockdown. You know, look at Jamie Vardy, he's older than 30, he's just got the golden boot. I'm not going to say he's going to come into Forest and be the star player, you know, win the championship player of the season and, and get us promoted, you know, on his Todd. But he'll be a helpful, it could be a helpful addition to do that. And the club's done some really good um, transfers, really good business compared to the stuff that we did in January. With the uh, old guard there, if you will, it was dreadful. It was, it was shocking, um, really. It was it was embarrassing to the club. But it looks like they've they've struck the right chord. They're doing the right things, and hopefully, maybe we could get in a winger. We're looking at. Uh, I've seen Jacob Murphy on loan could be coming in. An attacking midfielder in Freeman could be coming in on loan. Um, you know, I've seen links to Fulham and Cash. They want Cash ten million and, a, and an attacking player. You know, maybe Mitchum. <laughs> Mitro, maybe uh, Ivan Carriero, um, we can put dream, we can put dream. Um, I doubt they'll be coming. There's literally like 0.1% chance that they'll actually uh, swap him for cash, but uh, those for cash. But yeah, you'd love you'd love to see it if possible. But yeah, I think um, it looks positive. I can't really tell you much about him in terms of how he plays, like my genuine opinion, because I, d I don't know. I, I'm not too sure, but it'll be interesting to see how he does do. Um, so yeah, uh, let's hope he can... You can do well for the club. So if you did enjoy, uh, 
hit the like button. Oh, just before I go, just want to say I'm not wearing a Norwich shirt. I am wearing a old Forest shirt. Um, just wanted to clear that up um, before any of you might think, oh, why are you wearing a why are you wearing a Norwich shirt or you know whatever? Or why are you wearing this shirt that shirt? No, it is an old Forest shirt. Um, it was one that I really liked and then thought I'd pick it up. But yeah, anyway, I'm waffling now. If you did enjoy, like the video. Uh, thank you for watching. And come on, you Reds.